Good day to you ladies and gentlemen, this is the Hypersonic 55 and I come today with another film review and this one comes in the shape of Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol or just simply put Mission Impossible 4. Now before I get into this review let me go about and say this. When I found out that there was even going to be a fourth Mission Impossible film I shook my head in disappointment thinking how can they even do this? I mean like you know the third one was good enough to be left as a trilogy there's no need for another one because as we all know most films that get to the fourth in the series normally just fail right at the starting gate so I was thinking no there's no hope for this film even if Tom Cruise is in there I doubt they're gonna go about and be able to pull this off but then Brad Bird was pulled into the project and I was like what what okay okay I'm interested. And then we found out all the additional cast members that were going to be joining in, like Jeremy Renner and like Simon Pegg, and I was like, okay, this film may be interesting. Here's hoping. Then the trailer came out, and I was like, okay, there may be hope for this film. So then I saw this film just the other day, and my goodness, was I wrong. This film is just wow. It was just stupidly awesome. And um, yeah, I'm going to go back and tell you why in this review. Okay, so the story of the film involves this. Basically, the IMF, the company that Ethan Hunt happens to work for, happens to go under because um, it is believed that it was uh, their organization was the people that bombed the Kremlin. So now Ethan Hunt and his new team have to go road to clear not only their own names, but like the organization's name as well. And that is a very, very, very stripped down version of what the actual plot is of this movie. There is a level of complexity to this story which is completely undeniable. While the story of the film is not nearly as heavy as some of the previous films in the Mission Impossible series, this one still has a level of depth to it which is intriguing, interesting and definitely worth the watch. As everything unfolds you start to piece certain things together and like the thriller-esque areas of this film start to become apparent and that's when the story starts to get really juicy there's a lot of interesting history for all of these characters involved and the story in this film is just really really nice now when it comes to the characters oh my goodness gracious Tom Cruise's Ethan Hunt is still just as impressive as ever he can still move he can still do everything he is still just like you know the most one of the most awesome guys in Hollywood man and you have to give Tom Cruise props for doing most of all of his own stunts man he is just mad I mean who was the crazy person that decided to make him climb on top of that building man it's just like the stuff that Tom Cruise does in that building yeah it's just wow I literally just look at the film and I'm just like whoa what why why would you do that to yourself you could die and yet Tom Cruise goes about and puts himself out of his way for our entertainment and you gotta go about and like you know give a guy props when he does that you know Tom Cruise he's the one also, like, you know, the rest of the cast go about and bring, like, you know, their A-games to this film as well. Jeremy Renner is a very, very good character in this film. He happens to play a very unsuspecting character, and as the film progresses, we start to learn more about him, how he operates, and he was a very integral part to this film. And Simon Pegg, as always, is just lovely in any film that he happens to be in. And he was really funny, interesting, and um, was... Uh, just a lovely man to watch in this film really I have no complaints about him and um, Paula Patton as well she was really good in the film as well as the um, other um, agent that happened to fill out this new group that um, Ethan Hunt happened to hang around with she was cool she was able to uh, handle herself in a good way and as like the only female in the film she happened to bring her a game as well and she was pretty damn cool and the rest of the cast in the film happened to do well in their roles as well now, this latest installment in the Mission Impossible film series happens to be an interesting chapter in the life of Ethan Hunt, and it happens to be a fantastic film in the genre of action movies. This film happens to be a great action flick, purely because rather than just being a mindless action film, full of explosions and having a whole lot of action with no substance, Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol happens to have a story. It has structure, with characters who are interesting and engaging, and most importantly, things happen in this film for a reason rather than just happening for the sake of the spectacle. Now, the action sequences in Mission Impossible 4 are just ridiculously awesome. Some of the stuff that happens in this film is just completely unreal. Straight from the beginning of the film, it sets you up for a wild ride of significant feats performed by several of the characters involved, whether they happen to be the good guys or the bad guys. So many of the scenarios created in this film are completely unnatural. So many tension building situations and heart racing scenes are just thrown at you throughout the entire film. So much is going down in this film, it just leaves you wondering what's going to happen next. And another thing I happen to notice that the reviewer Jeremy Johns happened to say on his YouTube review of Mission Impossible 4, he mentioned that in the action sequences, just when you think it's over, the film throws another curveball at you and the action just continues. It's mind boggling. It just keeps going on and on and it's just like, whoa. It's just an explosion to the mind. But one thing is for sure. The action in this film is 
bloody well choreographed. It is incredible to watch and throws away the laws of realism and gets completely ridiculous at times. But that's what I really like about the film. The level of impossibility of some of these things that wouldn't take place in the real world. That's why I love cinema so much. Just that level of realism can just be taken away and you can just watch something completely unnatural. So overall, I have to say, Mission Impossible 4 Ghost Protocol was just one of the best films I've actually seen this year. It was incredible, it was just unnaturally epic, I was just like, whoa, Brad Bird, man, this is his first live action film, and like, I'm surprised that no one has actually summoned him for like, you know, more live action pieces. This guy knows how to direct action, and when you're actually seeing the film, there are so many references, in my opinion, to the Incredibles films, in terms of the way in which he organised certain things, it's just, wow, everything fits. Also, the music by Michael Giacchino is just fantastic, as always, man. You can happen to hear, like, you know, some of the similarities to some of the recent soundtracks that he's done, like Star Trek, and then even hear some similarities to the um, soundtrack of The Incredibles as well. These two happen to flow very well. With Brad Bird's actions and Mr. Giacchino's soundtracks, this film is just a product for success, and it works so well. Overall, I have to give Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol a 8.5 out of 10. It was one of the most incredible things I've ever seen in my life. I'm going to see the film again and, you know, just go about and watch it. Naysayers, say what you will, but when you see the film, you will be impressed with what you see. I can guarantee that. So this has been my review, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you found it informative as always. And, um, yeah, look for the next one when it shows up. So until the next time, this is the Hypersonic 55 signing out.